When it comes to Metrovania's 2023 is delivering, but sadly delivers more quantity than actual quality. Nine Years of Shadow was an alright game, but rather weak on the Metrovania aspect. Cursor to Sea Rats was also fun, but not really Metrovania 2. And Vernal Edge was a disappointment for me for many reasons. So while I was craving for some well-made Metrovania fun, I heard about that game that saves us all. The Messiah under the Metrovanias. The game that was hyped by the community to be one of the best in the genre. A game about... A mushroom? Really? After playing characters with cool designs and flashy moves I have to play a mushroom? Okay, fine. I'll try it. Oh, that was fun. Damn, that's cool. Wow, amazing. Okay, Lone Fungus is incredible, and here's why. Lone Fungus has one clear inspiration, and that's the almighty Hollow Knight. Some of these inspirations are more obvious, like the charm system that lets you equip charms to modify your attacks and moves, or the fantastic platforming sections that are a clear love letter to Hollow Knight's Path of Pain and similar sections in the game. But just to make this clear, in Lone Fungus all of that is optional and in my opinion way easier than the Path of Pain, which makes them incredibly fun, but we get to that later. Other inspirations are more subtle, like the way our hero always bounces back a bit when he hits an enemy. But aside from the Hollow Knight inspiration Lone Fungus comes with, this game is a well-crafted metrovania. You start with literally nothing but a jump, and in a true metrovania fashion you now go and explore the well-designed levels, looking for new abilities that help you traverse the mysterious world. All this is well-crafted because the whole gameplay loop of exploration, then finding a boss you manage to defeat after a few attempts, and then getting a new ability that almost every time is super fun to use, is so addictive. There are so many secrets to find, hidden paths to uncover, and optional challenges to overcome that all require certain abilities. This is just an absolute delight. And this game is huge, like really huge, and therefore packed with tons of ways to go, abilities to get, and bosses to defeat. And speaking of bosses, they are definitely a highlight when it comes to combat. I mean, yeah, many of them basically don't do anything you haven't already seen before, but with all the charms, magic and abilities the cute mushroom comes with, it's a lot of fun to figure out the mechanics and fight until you win. The difficulty of the boss encounters is perfectly designed. It's the perfect balance between challenging and easy enough to understand so that with a few attempts you will get that sweet feeling of victory. That's also because the movement of Lone Fungus feels great. You get a ton of movement options, like a double jump, a dash, a charge up super jump, a spin jump, a wall bounce, and the Hollow Knight-like downward slash that bounces you off spikes and stuff like that. The movement options combined with all the elements in the environment create a satisfying and super fun movement flow that I personally haven't seen that well made in the game before. I would even dare to say that I like the movement of Lone Fungus more than that of Hollow Knight. Yes, I said it. I know that Hollow Knight is a masterpiece, but that only underlines how great I think Lone Fungus' movement actually is. As soon as you play a few of the optional platforming sections that are inspired by the Path of Pain, you will get what I mean. And the last thing I want to point out is the undeniable charm of this game. I mean, there isn't that much talking, but the short conversations the little mushroom has with the bosses are cleverly written and funny. I laughed out loud when I encountered this one boss and he was talking and talking, and the only thing the mushroom replied was, yeah, I get it, you are intimidating, but I think all you need is a hug. I love humor like that. Lone Fungus really is one of the best Metrovanias I have played in a very long time. Getting new abilities feels great, the level design with all its secrets is designed masterfully. Boss fights are all fun and challenging, and there is a cuteness factor that makes me smile every now and then. Lone Fungus draws inspiration from one of the best games in the genre, while it sets itself apart with its own fantastic ideas. If you're looking for the next big Metrovania hit, Lone Fungus is what you should spend your money on. I think this game will become a classic in the future. Thanks so much for watching, what did you think of Lone Fungus? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed my review, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.